Hey there, folks. Now I have Erin from Red Buffalo Coffee and Tea joining me this morning. So Erin, how are you doing? Oh, very well, thank you. It's a, Winter came and it's here to stay. We didn't get that you know, mud lull yes. on Thanksgiving. Yes, no, the snow is really good. Is. I mean, which is kind of a bonus to the, uh, we've had some super chilly days, but it's been keeping the snow packs just a nice, it beautiful has texture. Been. That's what I kind of say. It's like, I don't mind if it like doesn't snow today or whatever, so long as it stays below freezing, so yes. the snow stays. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. Now, Aaron, for the people that don't know, that Red Buffalo Coffee and Tea is the place to go to before you hit the slopes, yes. as well as or after. after. Yes. Um, let people know a little bit about what they're gonna find at Red Buffalo Coffee and Tea. When you come into Red Buffalo Coffee and Tea, you're gonna feel that this is community. This mm -hmm. is what Silverthorne feels like. These are what Summit County people are like. Um, do I need an idea of, you know, what's a good place to go snowshoe or backcountry ski or um, the live music we have on Saturday and just get to talk to people. Yeah, people are so friendly. They'll just start talking to you. We do. Yeah. We have this these big community tables and I've had this one group that's been like gaining people in their group mm -hmm. over the past couple of years and none of them really have anything in common. I mean, one's a 21-year-old uh, young girl, another one's a programmer, another's like a 65-year-old divorcee who rents mm -hmm. homes and they're the best group and they just sit and talk like two or three times a week because they just see each other and this group grows and gains new people who just want to sit and talk and that's what i love about community coffee shops is yes. that we foster those communications we just let people grow and get to know each other and of course over excellent beverages that's yes most exactly important. most importantly is the coffee yes. and tea are just Spot on, but yes, the, we, the sense of community. And we really dork out on coffee and tea, like all the science behind it. And we know that 90% of the people don't want to hear that at 6.30 in the morning before they're caffeinated. Yeah. But just know that all of that knowledge and care goes into creating each drink so that, you know, we host community over a wonderful beverage, whether that's coffee mm -hmm. or tea or, you know, one of our bagel sandwiches, which are great to take up on the slope with you if you're yes. trying to think of a, yes. a good snack to munch on a chairlift or when you're out skinning. Yes, absolutely. You can put yeah. the, half the bagel sandwich in your in your backpack or yep. your pocket. Yeah. Now, you were talking a little bit about community before, and um, you're going to be doing something with the town of Silverthorne in their first Friday, we this are. coming yeah. Friday, right? So town can you tell us a little bit? Town of Silverthorne every month does a big town party, and it's called mm -hmm. First Friday. And this one will be this coming Friday the 7th. And it all starts in the afternoon, and it's going to have the Christmas tree lighting, which will be the big tree right outside the uh, Lake Dillon Theater Company at the Silverthorne Performing Arts Center. And then after that, it goes into some caroling. And then at 6 o'clock, you can come into Red Buffalo. We'll have story time on the go, mm -hmm. which is a really fun summer thing that we've been doing with the Silverthorne North Branch yes, Library. Yeah. They have a librarian come. They read a bunch of fun kids' stories. So Red Buffalo will be doing that. It'll be 6 p.m. on Friday, and we'll be having story time on the go with holiday stories. We'll also be having um, some crafts and cookie decorating. Ooh. And then kind of going on concurrently, so if you're waiting in line for it, is uh, Pictures with Santa. Oh, my goodness. So many things. So, so many, many things. fun things. You can get Pictures with Santa, come in, decorate cookies, you know, have dad wait in line. Maybe for the pick up a Santa. few Christmas presents. Absolutely. Or holiday presents. Holiday right? presents, however yes. you want to do it. I mean. Mm -hmm. If I were thinking of like a gift for Hanukkah every day of Hanukkah, I'd be like, well, you get a pound of this coffee this day, a pound of this coffee the next or day. Tea. Or a tea. Or tea. Different tea, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, we should do advent calendars of coffee, right? Mm -hmm. Just 12 different types of coffee, or uh, 24. I forget that how many days are yeah. on an advent calendar. <laughs> I, I have no idea either. My son has a Lego one he's obsessed with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so fun gift ideas. And the 7th will be a really fun holiday event. Followed up, you know, for the adults afterwards will be mm. the Angry Santa yes, Party. Yes, that looks like a lot of fun. It, yeah, mm -hmm. and that's going to be at Angry James Brewery. And that'll be followed up after all the, you know, after all the kid-friendly events, yeah. you can go to the Angry Santa Party at uh, Angry yeah. James Brewery, right across the street from where we are in Silverthorne. Now, um, speaking of, of holiday gifts, yes. I actually purchased uh, some coffee and some tea um, from Red Buffalo Coffee and Tea for my, my parents, which they absolutely love. Because not only is it good, but it's like, you know, it's personal because it it's, it's a part of my community. So they, they think of me every time they brew the coffee. And my mom is obsessed with the pearl jasmine tea from it's you guys. She's always tea. asking me to pick it up. She's like, I need some. <laughs> I, I find that when you give local, like, when I'm traveling, I love to pick up mugs from wherever I am. And then when I use them throughout the year, I have those flashback memories of that mm -hmm. trip with that mug. And I think that anytime you shop locally, 
in your local community, whether you're visiting or you're sending gifts out to a friend, when you have it from a local place, it has yeah. just kind of a more of a, a feel to it. It's less generic and sterile, and you can be like, yeah. no, this, there's substance. There is, <laughs> and there's a memory that you can always create with it. I mean, I don't really get memories from when I go shop at a big box store of, yes. you know, that one time I bought something extra that I didn't need. Yeah, you're just we, like impulse buy. Yes. Now, uh, where can people go to find out more information about events that you guys have going on, and actually your location and hours and all well, that? The best way is to come on in. We're 358 Blue River Parkway in Silverthorne. We're open from 630 to five seven days a week we are closed christmas day of course you can go to facebook which is red buffalo cafe for our calendar of events and information and then of course you have our website which is redbuffalocafe.com and you can actually purchase some of our items um, on our website right there so let's say you were in town you really liked it but you've left town now you can always go to our website mm -hmm. and we can ship as well okay well aaron thank you so much for coming in Thanks it's always a pleasure today. to see yes. you okay folks we are going to take another break but again we've got some great ideas of things to check out around the county as well as a number of events that are taking place this week so stay tuned for that mm -hmm.